Crisland with a pull-up three-pointer, it's good. Dickert open from three-point land, good. Wood gets a screen from Went, nails a three. Lifelong with a pull-up, G, nails it. Ricky bank shot, good. Pointer for three, got it. Intercepted and laid off the glass. Deep shot from the side is up and good. Risberg's two-point a shot is in. Splits for the fence and scores with two seconds to go. Sheboygan Lutheran, where the Crusaders are getting ready to take on their arch rival, the first place Sheboygan Christian. My name is Mike Martin, and joining me, the coach off a win last night, Chris Wright. Yeah, we got a big game here today. First time, and I think in a couple years, we actually got a leader in the conference playing like Sheboygan Christian. Uh, comes in at 11 to 1. They got a half game leave over Oostburg, and now they got to come into their, as you said, the arch rival uh, Sheboygan Lutheran and get a win. I remember a couple years ago, Christian came in 0-8 and played uh, Lutheran, who had a very fine record, and wound up defeating him. Yeah, and last game, it got down to, you know, three quarters are real close, and in the fourth quarter, Christian kind of pulled away. So let's see what happens here in the Lutheran building. Now, uh, Todd Decker, off that first game, mentioned that his, the team was not shooting well. They shot very well through about the first half of the ball game, and then uh, I guess history kind of caught up with them, and, and they wound up losing the lead. Yeah, they did, and... I talked to Coach Decker a little bit before. He's got a couple kids out, and I know we mentioned before, he's got Greg Fisher out. But the one he's really concerned about is Drew Powers because uh, Christian's got a young man by the name of Steve Hunick who's got a big 6'5 kid, and they don't know who's going to stop him. Now, both teams come into tonight off a win in conference play. Uh, Christian obviously needs to have this win. They've got uh, one more game played than Oostburg, so a loss would drop them a half game back. Yeah, last year, uh, they were kind of an up and down team, and uh, Coach Lipsy at the beginning of the year said, yeah, we're probably gonna be better, and uh, obviously they're much better. But now, all of a sudden, they seem to be the target. You know, when you're in first place, every game, you know, for everybody else, is now targeting Christian. So, they gotta really step up tonight. Now, Christian, uh, pardon me, Lutheran has a couple of young players. We, we know that Josh Binsler is up from the JV team, but uh, they got a freshman kid who's been starting all year. Yeah, Johnny Decker's kind of coming into an own, and uh, now they got a point guard. Now they can play Johnny Moore as a shooting guard, and that's what uh, his father, Todd Decker, wants him to do, is be more of a, of, a, of a shooting guard and not rely so much on taking the ball off the floor. And that seems to tire him out, and I remember seeing him early in the year. I thought he had kind of like freshman legs a little bit because he worked so hard taking up the ball, sometimes his shot wasn't there. But I did notice that he is in the top 10 in scoring in the whole area. And like you say, he's just a freshman. Now in the first game, you weren't there. Tom Grahams worked with me. Uh, they were missing one of probably their best player, Casey Stelmachowicz. He's going to be on the floor tonight, and that'll help take some of the pressure off of John. Yeah, and he also is a really good shooter. Um, we talked at the beginning of the year at our pregame show. I thought he was one of the best kids in the area. The kid can really light it up. He's going to have to light it up against Christian. Now, uh, Christian has a good player inside, David Sneller, and uh, like to run your offense through the big guy if you can. Yeah, last year he also had kind of an up and down year. A lot of expectation from him last year, and this year he is stepping up. Uh, up. And they also got a kid by the name of uh, Mike Oppenier who's kind of providing the outside game too. So when you got that inside-outside game and this unit kid, you know, they've, like I said, they've been a force. I think they were, uh, like, honorable mention in the state too. So we're seeing a nice team tonight. One thing that uh, Christian doesn't have is they don't have a number one scorer. You know, they've got a lot of balance, and he'll go eight, nine, ten deep. Is that is that a positive or a negative when you don't have the one guy? Yeah, I think it's a positive. I mean, you got these kids that were successful as soccer players. You know, last year they played together and they were strong. And, uh, you know, you don't have to rely on that one guy to help you every night. You got different people contributing all year, but it is a team game, and I, you know, when you got different contributions from different guys, I think that's a big plus. We're going to step out for a little bit. When we come back, we'll have the tip-off and the starting lineups for tonight's game, so stay tuned. Certified Angus Beef from Piggly Wiggly. Dad likes big, juicy steaks. T-bone, four and a half. But steakhouses just take forever. So Dad cooks it up himself. Who needs reservation anyway? Restaurant quality certified Angus beef. Just one more reason to shop at Piggly Wiggly. Piggly Wiggly! Shop and My 
compliments to the chef. leave you for someone younger they won't notice you've gained weight they won't fire you they won't talk about you behind your back all they'll ever do is love you find the love of your life visit petbinder at aspca.org Having twins can be a handful. Buy one, get one free. So when I decided to go back to school, I needed to find one that fit my, our lifestyle. Lakeland College was the perfect place. They offer an easy to manage schedule and counselors to help me anytime. Evening classes at Lakeland don't tie my, <laughs> our life in knots. Ever consider a double major? See, they're announcing the starting lineup for Sheboygan Christian. I'll go through them. Starting at a guard, number 24, Dustin Bervelde, he's 6'1", and he's a senior. Number 30, Steve Hunick is a 6'5", junior. Number 32, Mike Oppenier is a 6'2", senior. Number 34, Jake the Master is a 6'0", junior. And rounding out the starting lineup for Christian is their big center. Number 50, Dave Sneller, he goes 6'5", and he's a senior. For Sheboygan Lutheran, they'll be starting number 15, John Decker. He's a freshman. Number 21, Casey Stelmakowitz is a senior. Number 25, Philip Voss is a senior. Number 30, Nathan Dillman is a senior. And Josh Lindsay, number 32, is a junior. Lutheran comes into tonight's game, seven and seven overall, six and six in the conference. Uh, Todd Decker in his eighth year as coach out here at Lutheran. Brett Flipsy in his sixth year comes in in first place in the conference. They're 11 and one and 11 and two overall. And uh, we had a chance to talk with uh, Brett just before the start of the game. And he said they got a whole bunch of non-conference games right at the end of the season. Our officials tonight, are from Appleton. Keith Monabach and tossing it up at half court will be Bob Andrews. Well, we just had a chance also to talk with Pete Barth and he was parking way out near the road. A lot of people here this evening. Yeah, I, <coughs> excuse me, when I came in too, I was at the end of the driveway and I got here in plenty of time. I mean, I was here by 10 to seven or something. Well, I got right just as they were starting the uh, fresh JV game, pardon me, and uh, I got in the parking lot. Well, it's rivalry week on ESPN, and... Uh, Isn't that bra when's that bracket breaker coming up? Yeah, I thought that was today too, but uh, it's rivalry week, uh, so... Uh, or is it bracket buster? I know it's something about teams that are kind of like on the bubble for uh, making it, or... Yeah. So, uh... I think we have a rivalry right here that's been going on for a few years in Sheboygan. Sneller has it for Christian. They go on the tap. It's always interesting when we come out here, we always have to be above one of the baskets. Yep, and uh, at the end of the court, Vervelde on top. The basket they're attacking, we're right above that. Long shot is off, no good by Vervelde, and then it goes out of bounds. Casey Stelmachowicz making a good choice not to go after it. Well, Coach Decker says his team's been playing much more pressure defense the last few weeks, and he's hopes that that'll be an impact today, taking on these Eagles. With Christian being as deep as they are, they'll apply a lot of pressure all game also. John Decker has it, and has it slapped away by David Sneller. 
You know, and you said something in the opening about that, and we talked a little bit, but come tournament time, that's nice when you have a deep bench and lots of people contributing, and uh, especially at the small school like this. Decker from outside the line, his shot is no good, and he saves it, but it's picked off by Mike Oppenier. Christian wants to run. Good pass out, Sneller couldn't quite catch it to uh, get the shot off, so he passes it back out. And taking the long shot is Mike Oppenier. Rebounding it, Philip Voss. Looks like Christian's in his own, huh, coach? Yep. Changing their stuff around, there's a turnover. And Oppenier stepping inside of uh, Dillman to intercept that pass. Now looks like Lutheran's in a zone. Outside shot by Oppenier is off, no good. Oh, pardon me, by Hunick. Oppenier over the back, committing a foul. That's his first. All three point attempters so far for Christian. A little pressure. Should be a bucket. Yeah, still Mockwitz with a nice pass inside, but not able to get it to go down was Lindsay. Good pass by Sneller. Shot is off, no good by Jake the Master. Looks like there was contact underneath the basket, but no call. Well, we're right by the basket, so it's easy for us, probably not so easy for the officials. Don't leave your feet. Master kicks it out. Shot is off. Oppenier trying to get it to go. Can't. We're still scoreless. Two minutes into the game. Decker calling out the play. Second opportunity here for Lutheran. Stomachowicz with a quick jump. Pardon me, not Stomachowicz. That was Philip Voss with a quick two-pointer. I'm pressing to a zone. Sneller inside to DeMaster, up and in. A nice play against the uh, trapping zone. Decker pushing the ball up the court is fouled. Ball goes on number 24, Dustin Vervelde. Well, as we said in the opening, I didn't know if Johnny would be handling the ball as much as he is again, but I see he is, and that takes a lot of energy. Billman, what a flush. That's exactly what I thought about. <laughs> that was exactly the same term I was thinking. That is a flush. And he better give his teammate, uh, Casey Stelmachowicz, a high five because uh, he set it all up with the penetration. I think Scott's queuing that one up in the truck right now. I want to know where the uh, Christian players were on that. Decker with a long three is off. Sneller with the rebound. Jump shot is blocked by Dillman, and Decker comes away with it. And that good ball handling there. Lindsay almost comes away with it, but can't. Rivaldi has it. Inside the DeMaster, his pass is taken away. Pretty sloppy right now. Yes, and lots of, I think they're all so excited. There's a couple people huffing and puffing out there. Oh, well, another turnover. That's about three or four turnovers in a row. Three, yeah, three on uh, Lutheran already. Just four minutes in the game. Rivaldi, his shot is no good. Good hustle on the rebound attempt by Hunick, and then he throws it off. Goes off the leg of a Lutheran player, Philip Voss. Josh Binsler is in. 
He's only a sophomore. It was his actually his first game coach was the first Lutheran Christian contest. And I remember him coming into game. Who's 24? We didn't have a name yeah. for this kid. He wasn't even on the program. <laughs> Up from the JVs. He'll play some of the point guard position. Talked to Jeff Reesberg today a little bit about him. He's been a nice contributor off the bench. Um, Justin Moeller just tried that attempt. He was just in off the bench also. Casey Stelmachowicz takes it hard to the basket, lays it up and in. It's six to two. We're under four minutes of the first quarter. Pass attempt by Oppenier is uh, blocked and out of bounds. I think it was Nate Dillman hit it. Ryan Rush checking in. Yeah, you get your first while announcers. From the sky cam. Yeah, really. Shot is off, no good. That's enough of that, Brian. <laughs> <coughs> Just one for 10 is Christian so far. Inside to DeMaster, his Make turnaround for 11. in the lane is good. <laughs> DeMaster with four points. Pass out to Rent, his shot is off, no good. And saved by Hunick. Out to Oppenier, rolling around and down. Oppie with a basket, and that ties it up at six. I think I said Rent before, actually number 25 was Philip Voss. Shot by Dillman is off, Rush with the rebound, but a whistle stops action. I think they're gonna get over the back on Ryan. Ryan Rush commits his first foul. First team foul on Luther. Rivaldi checking back in. Trying to set that trap there. Christian did a nice job breaking it. Neller inside to DeMaster. He wanted to get the shot off, but lost the handle. Coming away with it is John Decker. Decker trying to force the action. Got a pass over to Lindsay, but there was a whistle. Ball is going to go on Dustin Vervelde. That's his second. That early foul trouble, you don't want to get that. Stomachowitz over to Decker, he sets from three point land, his shot is off, no good. And the ball goes off of Lindsay. Christian will bring it in. Definitely not a shooting clinic so far. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> With uh, 2.05 remaining, the score is six to six, and uh, there's been a flurry of shots by both teams, and uh, not much is going in. Yeah, I was just counting up. Lutheran's just three for 12. That's not even a good batting average. Inside pass to Sneller, the left-hander shot is up and in. Good inside feed by Oppenier. Time out, Lutheran. And Todd <laughs> giving his son an earful. Gonna call a 30 second timeout here. Both teams just struggling from the floor and committing turnovers. And uh, you don't want that press to uh, you know, cause you havoc. That's what you work all, basically you work months on that. And uh, when you have to call a timeout like that, that means Christian's doing something. There's an old adage that goes something like this, it's hard to press a pressing team, and uh, Christian is a pressing team, and uh, yet Lutheran is uh, attempting to do that. 
Yeah, and they're pressing as well, and uh, couldn't get it in, so he tried to call a quick timeout there. And I don't know if they wanted Johnny taking out the ball or, or what was the situation there. It looked like they almost had a man deep. Don't go there. It's the old no-no corner. You'll get trapped. Good decision there by John. Still Lockwoods has it on top. We're all tied up at six, a minute 25 remaining. His short jumper is, uh, what else, off. Lead feed and then a nice bounce pass to DeMaster and he rolls it up and in. He's got as many points as Lutheran has. Justin Moeller, six, part of that uh, group that ran the break. Dillman inside to Lindsay, his shot is blocked. Decker with a strong rebound and a nice pass to Lindsay and then another block. Punick getting that one. Moeller, pull up, off. Dillman can't get it. DeMaster with a good rebound. And good hands by Casey Stelmachowicz to uh, prevent the pass. To David Sneller down underneath the basket. Man, I'm glad I'm not doing this game on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> and there's no simple names like Smith or Jones or, or anything either for you, Marty. We had a little trouble with Admir's last name last night. His Misovic. Yeah. Sneller from 17 off. Reload. That's uh, gonna kill you. Keep letting the team get offensive rebounds. Inside feed to DeMaster and then he lost it. Steve Meyer, number 14, is in for Christian. Seeing his first action. Get to the basket. Well, Decker got around Sneller, and then he drew the foul on Moeller. That'll be Justin Moeller's first, but uh, the fourth team foul on Christian. We still uh, are in the first quarter. Decker makes his first attempt. I think that one gal is a Lutheran fan. Now <laughs> oh, Nick Rintz getting in, number 22. Give his uh, regulars, Coach Decker is, a couple extra seconds of rest. I'm sure they'll be inserted to start the uh, second quarter. Those two free throws now make the score 10 to eight. Christian on top, 14 seconds remaining. Moeller's shot is blocked by Rush. Uh, pardon me, not Moeller, Meyer's shot was blocked by Rush. It was a good feed by Moeller into uh, Meyer. Just three seconds. Shot by Moeller at the is no good. And that's the end of the first quarter. Christian on top, 10 to 8. We'll be right back. Properly inflating my tires burns less fuel and saves me money on gas. Yeah, I'm saving Mother Nature from pollution, but more importantly, she saved me 11 bucks. Environmental Defense, get green. By keeping my car regularly tuned, I save money on gas and repairs. That also means cleaner air. You know, feels good to help save the cash planet. Environmental Defense, get green. For more tips, go to getgreen.com. Kids aren't afraid of other kids. Or people with different color skin. That's because kids know. There are other things, worse things, bigger things to be afraid of. Like monsters from outer space. Remember, friends come in all colors.
We're back at Lutheran High School and the storyline so far would have to be a lack of shooting. Uh, you've got it down unofficially. Both teams 8 for 32. That's 25%. There's a lob and a dunk. Well, a little tip in a good pass by John Decker into Nate Dillman. That's and a high percentage shot, Marty. That's a very high percentage shot. And that was a good call by uh, Coach Decker coming out of the break from uh, first quarter into second. That ties up the score at 10 to 10. Kurt Faringa in the game, number 20. Moeller's shot is off. And a little bit of action underneath and uh, I think it's gonna be Nate Dillman getting called for the foul. First foul on Nate Dillman, third team foul on the Crusaders. Christian Eagles have it. Sneller's feet inside, Kehunik is taken away. Still Mokowitz has it right now. He's going hard to the basket, can't get it in. Shot is off again and short. And <laughs> Kehunik and Faringa battling for the ball and the referee calls traveling. Well, you like to have scrap, but you gotta keep track of who's <laughs> fighting with. Wide open look. Good hustle there, Johnny. Good play off of that timeout, getting uh, Decker the uh, open look from three point land. And then another nice play by Decker to uh, get it off of a Christian player, keep the possession. They really extend that zone. Still Mokowitz loads it up and he nails it. You know, I'm not a big person of extending zones like that because that'll create openings later. But they really got them out there. And the kid still made the, Casey still made that long bomb. There's another turnover. Justin Moeller committing that double dribble violation. I have seven turnovers to go along with their poor shooting. Poor shooting, exactly, That's Marty. Definitely not a recipe for success. Rivaldi and the master check back in for Christian. Lutheran's on a little run here. Inside the Dillman, a little inside out action over to Stelmakowitz. And I think we're gonna get a screening foul on Josh Lindsay. Bad thing was Casey hit the three. <laughs> yeah, she's commit those falls on the misses. There you get a shot at Josh. It was 10 to six, I believe. They've run off seven straight. It's like a three-two zone. Inside the DeMaster, he kicks it back out to John Locke. Working at a little bit of a high-low post with uh, DeMaster and Sneller, and uh, you know it looks like they get some openings, but they're not getting the ball inside. Exactly, and that's exactly what I saw, Marty. I saw a nice opening along the baseline, but they just couldn't feed it in there, and uh, as a result, another turnover on a travel. Almost a violation, and Enstel Mokowitz does lose it. Sometimes. Neither team seems to be getting into a flow. No, and I was just thinking, you know, sometimes your best move has to be your first move because off of that press, if you're not getting open on the first break, you know, Christian's very quick and they cover you up. Lock has it on the wing. Long cross court pass to Rivaldi and... Uh, yeah, Meyer's open down, or not Meyer, excuse me. Lock is open down here. And Another turnover, traveling call, and again, uh, Actually, what that resulted in is what hurt Sneller on a shot attempt. He's not just not catching the ball. Andy Rosenthal checks in for Christian. There you see him, number 22. Hands on knees. A 
You know, DeMaster a little bit too much body. Nick to Lindsay, and now that's a six foul, six team foul. Jake DeMaster with his first foul. Oh, good hands that time by Oppenier, and he lays it up ahead. The layup is missed by Rosenthal. In that first game, Chris Oppenier was a real weapon, both offensively and on defense. Oh, good pass by Stelmachowicz, but Dillman missing the easy shot, and then he gets called for an over-the-back foul. Wow. And a second foul on uh, Nate Dillman. Well, you make that nice little bunny there, and you don't have to worry about that. Six foot six, good jumping ability, and just missed it. Yeah. And then you get a foul because of it. That was a real nice play by Casey Stelmachowicz to set it up, too. Two golden opportunities. Christian had a layup down here, and Lutheran had a bunny down there. Mike Oppenier, number 32 in the corner, has it. I think they're going to get snow with a hold. Yeah. Usually you think about holding being called on the defense. And now I think they're going to take Dillman out here with his two fouls. Probably a good decision. You're winning. Rush with a good break and a good catch. Good quick hands there by Sneller. Heck of an Ooh. athlete, David Sneller. Is <laughs> not quite ready for that one? But he caught it anyway. Still Mockwood taking it hard to the basket. Gets it to go. Now we've seen Decker do that as well. That's one thing they, they found in the scheme of Christian is to kind of take it to the basket there. 15 to 10, Lutheran on top. Still Mockwood's now has seven points, Chris. He leads all scores. Now you talked about Christian extending their zone. It seems like Lutheran is packing theirs in. Yep, and they should keep it up because they can't find the, the bucket. Decker got that rebound. Voss over to Stelmachowicz. He loads it up from outside the line and gets another three-pointer. We might need a timeout, Coach, just to break this monot this momentum monotony. Momentum up here. Ooh. Oh, bad foul. Trip on Voss. And uh, apologizes to Rosenthal. Good gesture. And they have not scored here. You might want to take a timeout just maybe to break, yeah, break the, momentum the momentum or whatever the it's in the air that's not going right for you. It's 18 to 10. We're at the 333 mark of the second quarter. Lutheran on top. And uh, as was the case in the first contest, they're shooting well early on. Rosenthal, the old left-hander, can't get it to go. And the master is going to get called with an over-the-back foul. That one going on Josh Binsler. That's who was fouled. Binsler will be shooting. Well, it's two guys with two fouls, coach. And it's uh, the master and Vervaldi. Now, the guy with two fouls on Lutheran's team is Dillman. He's out of the game. Yeah, it's one of those situations. I don't like my guys getting a third foul going into halftime, but I'll tell you what, you can't let the game get away either. Binsler's free throw was in and then popped back out. Much more ball movement this time by Christian. Well, Binsler thought he had the ball, but the official didn't see it that way. Much better ball movement that time by Christian in attacking that, that zone is causing all types of trouble for Christian. Uh, you know, and they got to keep shooting those outside shots. Hopefully they're going to start to fall. David Sneller at the line. He'll be shooting the one and one. Oh, nice shot of David. As I said before, very nice young man and a very good athlete. Shot is no good, and then it's rebounded by Hunick, and another fall on Luther. Boy, Hunick just slid right between those two uh, Crusaders to grab that rebound. Yeah. 
Binsler was the uh, culprit, picked up his second foul. Steve Hunick pops in the first one. It's a sixth offensive rebound for Christian and it's gonna pay off as it finally got a point on the board here in the second quarter. Uh, there is a storyline that's been pretty consistent throughout the game because they did that through most of the first quarter and now they're doing it in the second quarter. Good form by Steve Hunick. Uh, looks like he got some special coaching. Got a nice little flipper on his yep. hand. Hand in a cookie jar. Voss has it on top. The old Milwaukee Lincoln weave. <laughs> Stelmakowitz with a quick release. This shot is no good. Sneller with the rebound, deep pass. Down to Moeller. There Inside you go. Sneller tried to do the old uh, reverse layup and uh, it missed everything, but Lindsay from Lutheran tapped it out of bounds. Sneller's been much more active the last couple of minutes, getting rebounds and finding that shooting stroke a little bit. Moeller, bango. And then he says something to the Lutheran bench. What a guy. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't do much in the first game till at the end. He made a Ooh. couple of, maybe. Lindsay with the offensive rebound, put it up and in, kind of bailed out John Decker. Because I didn't think that was a very good shot. Pass is knocked away and Lindsay able to get it over to uh, Decker. Now still Mockwitz has it. We're on uh, 152 and counting in the first half. Lutheran on top, 20 to 15. So Mockwitz with an 18-footer, got it. Well, he's been the uh, show here for Luther in the first half. Johnny Decker, your leading scorer, is 0 for 6. And you're still up by seven points. That's a definite positive for Luther because you know Johnny's gonna get that stroke sometime. Still Mockwitz with 12 points. Ryan Rush with a rebound. Ryan playing a lot of minutes here in the first half and doing a good job. I had to say that his dad will be watching this later. Well, I was going to say he has done a good job. He seems to be all, where there's something action is, he seems to be right there getting steals. and Still Mockwitz takes it hard to the basket, but it rolls off. Hunick with the rebound. And Christian's got the break. Sneller with a pump fake. Shot is off. Moeller's shot is off, but he's fouled. That foul will go on Philip Voss, and that'll be his second foul, and that's uh, three players now with two fouls on Lutheran squad. Voss, Dillman, and Binsler. Fifty-two point six seconds remaining. Moeller hits the free throw. It's now 22 to 16. Lutheran on top. Free throws after offensive rebounds have kept them in. They've made three out of four, three out of five. Almost another one there. See if they hold it for one here. Try to get some kind of half court trap. Voss is, was wide open down there too. So Mockwitz keeping it out near half court. Now gives it off to Decker. Well, 30 seconds left. Still Mockwitz, the shot is off. I wonder which and way they'll call this. Oh, Voss is over the back. For Philip Voss, that's his third foul. And Nick Rint is getting ready to check in for him. Fervelli will be at the line shooting free throws. The only thing that's kept them in, Marty. Can't get the uh, shots to go, but uh, fouls by Lutheran has given Christian an opportunity to close this within two as he hits that first one. 
at the start of the game, Christian picked up four relatively quick fouls. As a matter of fact, it was a 4-1 count. They were ahead. Now it's uh, Lutheran that's been committing a lot of fouls. Rivaldi hits a pair. It's 22-18. We're at 27.7 seconds remaining, and uh, that made free throw also allows Christian to apply the press. We're under 20. Down to 10. Looks like Decker's gonna try and take it one on one. Instead he gives it off to Stelmachowicz. His jumper is off. And we're at halftime, where Lutheran leads it 22 to 18. When we come back, we'll have an interview with a couple of former athletes from Lutheran High, so stay tuned. I eradicate landmines. I feed the hungry. I shape international policy. I protect children. I fight for human rights. I find homes for refugees. I dig wells. I develop economies. I teach people to read. I influence the president. I heal the sick. I comfort the grieving. I make the world better. I make a difference. I change the world, so can you. I'm Bob McGrath. And I'm Big Bird. And we love to make music. Music can help kids learn. Did you know that making music, any music... Like Twinkle Twinkle? All uh, right, like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star can help your child with language, reading, and even math. And it's lots of fun, too. To find out how children learn and grow with music, visit www.amc-music.org. And you'll see... Music works wonders. Yeah, it sure does. Athletic competition is all about potential. The opportunity to look inside yourself, to challenge yourself, to be better than you ever dreamed imaginable. Junior achievement is also about dreams and the potential to make those dreams come true. Jay's free enterprise education programs help kids say, I can, when everything around them says, you can. Junior achievement, let their potential be your inspiration. I love the challenge of computers. Not that I have much time with these little guys and my job, but when my wife went back to school, I thought, why can't I? Certain things in life demand my attention, but a new career in computer science deserves my attention. An evening class at Lakeland doesn't tie my life in knots, thanks to a flexible, easy to manage schedule that allows me to balance work, school, and the twins. Evening classes that meet once a week, that's the easy part. You know, we sing for millions of girls, but helping out in schools, that's the real deal, baby. I know our love can multiply. I'm the cute one, you know what I'm saying? Have you ever been backstage before? Cause you're the exit. I think you'll find that gravity is key in what I do. Once was one, but now we're two. I'm spinning out of here. <laughs> We're at halftime where Lutheran leads Christian 22 to 18. Joining me are a couple of former athletes from Lutheran High School, Stacy Rush and Nick Leipom. And Stacy, we'll go ladies first. Uh, what's it like to come back to Lutheran for games like this? Uh, actually, it's really nice. Um, Tina Salas is a guys game, but it's kind of exciting. It's nice to get back and see everybody and, you know, watch a good game since we're winning 22 to 18 right now. But yeah, it's nice to be back. Does that mean your first comment that you'd rather be back for a girls game? Actually, in all honesty, I haven't seen a girls game all year, but yeah, I would like to see a girls game. See what it's like. I haven't, you know, played for two years, but I would like to come back and see a girls game yet this year. Nick, what's it like for you to come back and uh, watch a game back at your old hots here at Lutheran High? It's, it's always good to come back and uh, get that old feeling again. And Lutheran Christian games are were all, always my favorite, so getting back this flavor of the game, so good to see the game. Uh, Todd Decker and I have a little thing going. He never wants me to talk to him before these Lutheran Christian games. And it all goes back to about three or four years ago when you were playing. Christian came in 0-8 and they beat you guys. Well, yeah. Uh, Coach always said, you know, forget about all the records and all this stuff. 
Luther Chris games are just uh, going to be down to the end. Always good games to uh, play, and uh, so I'm sure he won't stay away from you. We kind of had the same thing with you, Stacy. We got finally got TV8 to do a girls' game over here, and you guys laid an egg that night. Oh, yeah. Well, that game, uh, when I didn't start, first of all, and then when I did get in, I was like 0 for 7. I think I had no points, right? Can you remind me of that? Well, I think the team went about 25 minutes without a basket. Yeah, I think we scored, what, 20 points the whole game. But you could also cover a college game at Concordia for me if you really wanted to. Now, speaking of Concordia, both these athletes play basketball at Concordia. And uh, Stacey, we'll start with you again. What's the difference in the college level versus high school? Um, actually, it's not that much different. I guess it's a little bit more competitive, obviously. The girls are bigger and everything, but, I mean, there's a shot clock. I don't know, we play, you know, fast pace. We average, like, 70 to 80 points a game. You've seen us play, but, I don't know, it's a little bit more physical, obviously, and it's more fun to play, in all honesty, so. Nick, you're a freshman starting uh, your point guard on, on the varsity team over at Concordia. What's the difference between high school and uh, college? I've just noticed... The guys are a lot stronger and a lot faster and just trying to keep up and as a freshman playing against senior guys that are maybe 23 or 24 years old, they're a lot stronger and they like to sure push, push around a little freshman. So. Well, they got a pretty big guy to push around. Uh, Chris Wright was saying he thought you uh, put on a little bit of weight and he mentioned that to your dad. Your dad said you've been uh, lifting weights. Yep. Well, you know, the freshman 15, I don't know. I don't think it's that much, but I think I'm getting up there. And, Bulking up a little bit more, so. By the way, the only way to keep these two people apart is to have somebody in between them. They've been going together, I think, since freshman year. Oh, uh, you know, Uncle Mike, I don't know. <laughs> with that, we're gonna send it away. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll be back with the start of the second half in just a moment. It doesn't matter who you are or what you drive, or where you live. You have the power to give someone the greatest gift in the world, life. Make the decision to be an organ donor. Make the decision to donate life. Good job. It's a giraffe! I don't see it. The less art kids get, the more it shows. Are yours getting enough? Art. Ask for more. Americansforthearts.org Take a deep breath. It's all going to be fine. Come on, take a deep breath. Keep on breathing. Certified Angus beef from Piggly Wiggly. Dad likes big juicy steaks. T-bone. Four and a half. But steakhouses just take forever. So Dad cooks it up himself. Who needs reservation anyway? Restaurant quality certified Angus beef. Just one more reason to shop at Piggly Wiggly. Piggly Wiggly! Shop My compliments to the chef. We're back at Lutheran High, and there you see the pep band. They do a fine job, and uh, I don't know if you can see that, but they've got TB8 on the uh, trombones. And the big tuba. Uh, the tubas, I mean. I guess no, I'm not a musical And those are person. baritones, I think they're called. Let's go through the scoring first for the uh, visiting Christian Eagles. Justin Moeller had five points. Dustin Verveldi had one. Steve Unick, two. Mike Oppenier, two. Jake DeMaster, six, and David Sneller had two. Leading all scorers was Casey Stelmachowicz of Lutheran High. He had 12 points. John Decker had two. Philip Voss, two. Nate Dillman, four. And Josh Lindsay, two. And uh, 
Oppenier will trigger the inbounds, and we're into second half action. Inside feed to DeMaster, good move, but Dillman gets the block, and Lindsay gets the carom. Decker almost lost it, but was able to get it out to Casey Stelmachowicz. Well, I had an unofficially Christian six for 26 and Luther nine for 29. Not good shooting, but that's an easy one. Well, from point blank range, John Decker puts it up and in, and that's his first basket of the game. Now, before we get too far into the second half, I want to thank Stacy Rush and Nick Leipom for uh, granting us an interview. Uh, they're a Couple of great kids and uh, really fine athletes. Uh, credit to their high school and now their college. And they both go to Concordia University down in Mequon and they're both playing basketball. Stelmachowicz puts it up and in. A little hang and jump shot. It's 26 to 18. Biggest margin, eight points right now. Lutheran on top. Rivaldi from outside the line is shot rims in and out. Oh and boy. almost an offensive rebound by DeMaster. Voss has it in the corner. Got it out to Decker. And uh, Tom Grams was saying last night that uh, we're at a section of the game now which is the most important, the first maybe three, four minutes of the second half. Want to set the tone for the rest of the game. And uh, Decker had a good look but couldn't get it to drop. Well, I know working with Coach Tom Desitel and being in the locker room with him over the last how many years, 11 years or so, he emphasizes that big time. First three minutes of the half, three, four minutes dictate what's going to happen. And uh, Tom Grams is right on the button there. Those are two good coaches, Coach Desitel and former coach Tom Grams. Well, a miss by Christian, but an offensive rebound. And Oppenier puts it up and in. Second chance basket for Christian. And they've got a lot of those today. A lot of offensive rebounds. Been the one weakness for uh, Lutheran. Sneller a little bit late going for the interception and commits the foul for uh, David. That's his second. And the first team foul of the second half by either squad. Not very good spacing there for a little while. Voss is hanging around Dillman in the low post. Now they get spread out. Tomakowicz off the glass and got the bounce. Boy, he's been magic today. He has 14 points. 16, my bad. Schneller with an offensive rebound. His putback is off, no good. Long pass to Voss, his layup attempt is off. Munich got away with a walk, pushing it down the floor. Oppie off, no good. Decker's shot is off, but Voss follows it with a tip in. His second basket of the night, and it's 30 to 20. The cold shooting just continues for Christian. They just can't seem to get it going. Just bothered by the zone. There we Feldy go. Feldy rims it down. And we get a 30 second timeout by Christian. I think a very good timeout there by Coach Flipsy. Finally got a shot to go. He's just trying to break things up, make things happen, build some confidence back in his players. You can see some of their heads kind of dropping a little bit when things aren't going well. Now you gotta work on the defensive end down here. Create situations for the Crusaders to uh, force bad shots, get some rebounds, and crawl yourself back in here. Well, what do you think he'd be talking to his team about? I'm a little surprised that he called a timeout after a three-point basket. I think he had it in his mind, I'm gonna call a timeout and try to get things straight. Once again, such a slow start for his, his group. You know, four minutes gone already that I think it was pre in his mind that He's going to call timeout and change something. 
Well, they're still pressing. Verveldi is guarding the ball. Philip Voss will toss it in. Well, Todd Decker's on the floor talking to one of the officials. Keith Monobach is that official talking to uh, Todd. Long pass to Dillman. They got a two on one. Nice pass into Lindsay. He lays it off the glass for two. And now that's not what Brett Flipsy wanted to have happen after that three point basket, that's for sure. Inside feed to Sneller. Shot by Hunick. His three point attempt is off. And it goes out of bounds. They're saying it went off of Lindsay. Christian will keep it. Second opportunity again for the Eagles here. Hunick open again. This time he gets it to go. Keep shooting. They got to fall. You're good shooters. That's his first basket. Chris, he has five points. Made a couple of free throws in the first half. Boy, and you've said it many times, I know, Marty, but boy, that three-point shot makes a big difference. All of a sudden, you went from nine down to just six. Good Decker pass. With a good inside feed to Lindsay, and he puts it off the glass and down. Even you and I could score off that pass. Uh, you might. I don't know about me. <laughs> <laughs> Inside to Sneller, a spin move. Jumper is off, but the rebound shot is also off. Boy, Hunick looked like he had a point range shot and uh, couldn't get it in. Again, Decker with a good feed into Dillman, and he's fouled, and uh, Sneller is going to pick up another one, and that's going to be his third. We're at the 2.57 mark of the third quarter. It's a little bit early to be picking up that third fall. And I think Coach Decker is really happy about the fact that he got to pound one inside to his big kid here, 6'6", Nathan Dillman. His first free throw attempt of the game. Just right on, but just a tad long. We could see that from here. Yeah. And a They've only, Lutheran has only shot four free throws and made only two of them. Christian is five out of seven. He just said to the official, if I make it, we want a time. And he did, and we have a timeout. 30-second timeout, I believe this is. Well, we extend it back up to a... Uh nine point lead and uh, I think what Coach Decker wants them to do is close out on those shooters a little bit more quickly. I know he's talking to Johnny a little bit and you know I think Oppenier had a wide open look there and you gotta have guys close out a little bit faster. is really a weapon. I know I mentioned this in the first half and I might be a little redundant but he plays really good defense and uh, he can score. You know, so you get looking at a guy that's very valuable on both ends of the court Another question for you, Chris. Lutheran's been having a pretty easy time so far this half, breaking the press. Do you think uh, Christian pulls back? I think what they're trying to do is try to just wear them down. You know, I always try to tell my guys, we, we'll get bonus, bonus turnovers off the press, but we want teams to play fast. I think Christian, with their depth, just wants to uh, maybe wear down Lutheran a little bit. It worked in the first game, and that the later part of the third quarter and then the fourth quarter, you could tell Christian just didn't have the same hop in their step. Ball is stolen away, still Mockwitz will take it hard to the basket with the left hand, but couldn't get it in. Another uh, relatively easy attempt, not, not going in. Both teams missed a lot of those. There's a nice pass. Fuller inside to Hunick, and he makes a dandy move around the defense for an easy two. Seven points now for Steve Hunick. That was one person that Coach Decker was worried about, was Steve Hunick. Who's going to guard him without Drew Powers, who's out with an injury? Lindsay gets a five-footer in the lane to drop. He has another basket. He has eight points. Three for three shooting in this third quarter as well. Hunick tried to Steve save it after he lost it, but gets called for the walk. And Binsler and Rush will check in for Luther. I was thinking after we talked about uh, the press, you know, whether you pull back or not, 
with the guard play that Lutheran has, they, they can have pretty good success against the press, especially with Decker and Stelmopolitz. That foul is going to be tagged on Steve Hunick, his first. Almost got a turnover there, Christian did, but just a little too aggressive and then got a foul there. Third team foul, sort of following the same script as the beginning of the game. Quick fouls, although they're not quite as quick as in the first half. Three to nothing in terms of team fouls. And hustling back is Dustin Vervelde. He kicks that ball out of bounds. Otherwise, Lindsay's looking at another easy two. See a little doubt in the Christian eyes. Just hoping things are gonna turn around. They gotta, they gotta make things turn around. Uh, Hunick bodies up and uh, that's an easy call. Not a good uh, defensive play by Steve Hunick. And we're up to four team falls. Minute 40 left in the third quarter. Lutheran up nine. Their largest lead was 10 at 30 to 20. Good decision there by uh, Rush. Ryan Rush. Not the force that pass inside, you're right. Moeller, nice move around the defense, but again, he couldn't get it in, but Hunick does. Nine points for Steve Hunick, it's 37 to 30. Well, end of the second quarter, Christian made their little push. See if they get the same results here. Rush inside the Dillman, then back out. Game, I thought it's been pretty much dominated by Luther, they're only up by seven. And here comes the Christian again. Ooh, there's a double dribble. Yeah, still Mockowitz, got kind of a forced shot there, and it didn't go. Verveldi stutter steps himself into the top half of the key and uh, nailed a two-pointer. Another late push, as I said. Five point difference, Binsler a little behind. Oh, and a horrible turnover now. Went right off of Moeller and then he picked it up. Christian has it back. They're down by five, 37-32. Wow, just a five point deficit. All late here. Checking in for the first time tonight is Adam Menzer. And uh, John Decker comes back in. This is a big stop because this could be a momentum Hunick swinger. Hunick in rhythm. Got the shot off, but no good. You're right, that, uh, that bas a basket right there makes it 37-35. We're at the end. Two seconds, bang -oh! Decker from outside the line at the buzzer. It's 40 to 32 at the end of three quarters of play. Story about a group of kids who volunteer. Do something nice for someone. We fix stuff. Did some art projects with the kids. We fixed up this house. We worked in the woods. Cleaned up the park. Did something for the planet. We just did it. No other reason. And you know what? It was great. At first, they didn't know each other. Well, that didn't last long. This guy is really funny. We Ace are my new friends. Are you into it? Call 4 H or check out our website at areyouintoit.com. Hey, kids. Before you know it, she talks. Before you know it, she walks. Before you know it, she knows you. Before you know it, she has a heart. Before you know you're pregnant, when your baby's no bigger than a grain of rice. Before she's a twinkle in your eye, that's when you need to take folic acid every day. After that, it's too late to prevent some serious birth defects. Folic acid now, before you know it. We talked about the impact of a three-point basket, and we saw it right at the end of the quarter. Five-point lead all of a sudden up to eight. And we talked about momentum too, Marty, and just as you thought that Christian was gonna have the momentum, 
Lutheran gets one with Johnny Decker's big three there. Lindsay turnaround is no good, and Sneller is going to pick up his fourth foul. A little earlier in the action, uh, David Sneller had a great block off of what looked like to be an easy two points for Casey Stelmakowitz. But as it is, Lindsay will go to the line for his first trip of the night. 15 foul on Christian. No team fouls on Lutheran yet. And frankly, that's just about how it should be because they haven't even been close to committing any fouls. It isn't like there's any favoritism being shown by the no, officials. They're sitting back in that zone and... <coughs> 42 to 32, another 10 point lead. Oh boy. And then another double dribble, this time on John Locke. Mike Oppenier checking back in. Lutheran has their starting lineup on the floor. Inside feed to Dillman, he lays it off the glass and in. Another good pass by Casey Stelmakowitz. He's having quite a game. Yes, he is. He's got rebound, assists. Lots of points. Playing like a strong senior he is. Sneller's first attempt is off, but he got the rebound and put it up and in. He now has four points. It's not a typical David Sneller day today. Dillman looked like he was open cutting down the lane. But then we get a travel call on Casey Stelmachowicz. And there you see Mike Oppenier again, number 32, applying the pressure. Yeah, unofficially, I just have Lutheran for two turnovers here in the second half. So they're taking good care of the basketball. Have a 10-point lead, and that zone seems to be causing lots of issues, problems for Christian. Well, Lindsay able to control it after a lot of action. Lutheran has and they still have a 10 point lead, 44-34, 6-24 remaining in the ball game. Christian continues to play his own and extend that zone out. Although they might be in a... I think they've think switched over to a man. I, I see Oppenier guarding Stelmachowicz, but I'm not sure if the rest of the guys are in a zone. Decker over the defense, puts it up and in. Height really paid off for that shot. And he's <clears throat> gotten hot here in the second half, four for five shooting. Rosenthal's shot is no good, and then Voss got it back on the floor, and then when he got up, that's an automatic travel. So they got turnover number three of the second half. <laughs> Verveldi, the master, and number 14, Steve Meyer. Check back in for Christian. Christian a little bit smaller now with Sneller out of the game. Lutheran in a zone. Tough Rebelli. shot. Yeah, was, that was a tough shot. Good hustle. Steve, yeah, Steve Meyer tried to save it and did get a paw on it, but he wasn't able to save it inbounds. Lutheran will get it, and they have a 12-point lead. Largest lead of the game right now. Well, a little ticky-tack, a nickel and a dimer. I thought Casey was doing his little uh, Curly Neal impersonation yeah. there. <laughs> Justin Moeller picking up his second foul, and that's a six-team foul on Christian. The next one will put Lutheran at the line for the rest of the game. Hop in here with a great save, but uh, Stomachowicz right there to pick it up, and a good feed. Lindsay had a sh was a recipient to that 
Nice pass, but uh, Moeller able to get back and uh, block it. Prevent the easy basket. Actually, they give it to uh, Mike Oppenier. Lindsay's two for two so far tonight, Chris. And uh, Lutheran is five out of seven. Referee looked uh, like he meant whatever he was saying to Mike Oppenier. And he calls a T. Yep, and uh, I'll tell you what, I don't like to say stuff about kids, but uh, Dusty Vervelde has been talking for a while in the first half, and the officials just asked to settle things down because it was a hard foul. And uh, he must have said something after the official. He's going after him. Yeah, you got to just relax. Well, you got to keep your wits about you. And uh, Dustin Rivaldi definitely not doing that. When the official goes up to one of your players and says that's enough, that's not an invitation for you to turn around and start talking. Right. And uh, he's still barking at his own teammates now. And well, I Lindsay made one out of two. Those were his free, free throws. Now we're going to shoot the technical free throws. And Casey Stelmachwitz will step up to the line to do that. You know, he had things in the first half and I didn't say anything, but uh, he must have said something. And I think the official was just play the game. I even heard him say, let's just play the game. And a couple of the, I even heard a couple of the Christian Lutheran players say something like okay or something. And then he must have said something after that. And it's too bad. I was caught in a situation like that in a baseball game last summer. I was uh, umpiring with Pete Denan. He's the boys basketball coach at Concordia. And uh, you know, you go out there and you tell those kids, just keep your mouth shut, play baseball. And one kid just wouldn't give it up. And uh, yeah. And Coach Flipsy, to his credit, is taking Vervelde out of the game and telling him, you know, be quiet, just play the game. 49-35, pardon me, 49-34. Lutheran up 15 with uh, under five minutes left. And we got a little backdoor play. Dillman not able to get the shot in. And we got a foul. Ball's gonna go on Josh Lindsay. And that is the first team foul on Lutheran. Justin Moeller has it right now. Lutheran sitting in his own. And uh, they're going to have to start shooting a lot better if they want to come back, Christian does. John Decker going to get tagged with that fall. That'll be his first. Yeah, they got to get, they had periods in the first half where they really, Christian had has swung that ball around and got some uh, easy opportunities to get some baskets and they just went fall. Now it seems like the pass are a little slower and a very good decision here by Coach Lipsy. You, you gotta get Sneller back in the game regardless if he has four fouls because so otherwise it's just gonna get away. David's shot is off, but Jake the Master got the rebound shot, and put it up and in. He now has eight points on the night. And there's one of those second shots again, opportunities. Timeout called by Lutheran. That's going to be a full timeout, so we'll take a short break and be right back with the score, 49-36, Lutheran. I build schools. I battle injustice. I eradicate landmines. I feed the hungry. I shape international policy. I protect children. I fight for human rights. I find homes for refugees. I dig wells. I develop economies. I teach people to read. I influence the president. I heal the sick. I comfort the grieving. I make the world better. I make a difference. I change the world, so can you. to the Lutheran side. And they are happy right now with a 13 point lead. Or they're happy to be on TV. <laughs> I think they're more happy their team is winning. <laughs> 418 remaining in the ball game. Philip Voss will toss it in for the Crusaders. 
Del Makowitz. They got a two on one break here. And then Oppenier hustling back. Is able to tip it from behind. But again, the long lead feed, they had a two on one opportunity. Good hustle by Christian back, that's for sure. Oh, a nice interception by Steve Hunick. He's gonna take it hard to the basket and lay it up and in. And John Decker's gonna get called for a blocking call. It's one of those you don't wanna add to the uh, situation by leaning in, get a foul, might as well let him take the layup and instead of having an opportunity for a three point play. And all of a sudden that 15 point lead's gonna maybe be down to 10. Steve Hunick has 11 points, looking for number 12 with this free throw. That's a 10 point lead for Lutheran and uh, you know, we've talked about it several times tonight. Uh, three point basket, this lead it definitely is not safe. No, and four minutes left and this is not in the bay. It seems like Lutheran has dominated the game, but uh, they're still only up by 10 points. Three point baskets have really changed the uh, complexion of the game. Steve Hunick commits that foul on John Decker. He'll step to the line. He was two for two in the first half. Big make there. Now John's a big guy, he's 6'5", but he's uh, Jeff definitely a gym rat. Yes. A uh, big one. <laughs> Since he was a young youngster, basketball been his love. Pops in a couple of free throws, makes a 10 point advantage up to 12. Schneller with a turnaround jumper is no good. And Dillman with a strong rebound. Schneller's just two for 10 tonight. Lindsay off the glass, off a great feed from Casey Stelmachowicz. 13 points for Josh Lindsay. Hunick from outside the line, no good, and it's uh, starting to fall apart for the Eagles. Stelmachowicz with the rebound. Well, they had their run there, but they couldn't, couldn't close it. Yeah, they couldn't sustain it. Almost tipped away, but Lindsay in good spot to get it back. We're at the 305 mark of the ball game. 14 point lead for the Crusaders, and then Steve Hunick commits a foul. And now we're in a double bonus. And that was his fourth foul. Kurt Faringa getting ready to check in for Christian and Josh Binsler for Lutheran. Decker at the line. Yep. 12 points for John Decker looking for number 13. It's been perfect at the line. Shh. Don't jinx him. <laughs> it ends. You better watch out. Those Christian fans aren't going to like that. <laughs> <laughs> Moeller, three-point attempt is no good. And Decker with the rebound. And those second chance chances are starting to uh, diminish here late in the ball game. I hope for... Uh Turnover or a five second. You never want to get off. Ooh, they're going to start. Well, Faringa was sent in, I think, for a reason. And he didn't get the foul the first time, but he got it the second time. There's Coach Schneider. Jack Schneider, longtime coach and teacher out at uh, UW Sheboygan. He is a gym rat. You see him all over the county watching basketball games. Wow. When you need free throws made, they're, they're making them. Four and for I, four for Stelmakowicz. 18 point lead with 220 remaining in the ball game. Lutheran on top. And uh, they have just played a dynamite basketball game. 
Filmoklitz will take it hard to the basket and it rolls in and he's fouled. Wow. And that probably it. Good use of the body to protect the ball. Yeah, and for a second I thought maybe he should pull it out, but when he got that burst of speed, he uh he smelled it. Yeah, and that was that was probably it as uh, a couple other players are checking in for Christian. And I'll he tell has you, Casey. 22 points. Chris looking for 23 right now. Yeah, and he's just been a force all night with assists and as we said, rebounds. I got him for five rebounds and he's got a number of assists as well. Well, and he had some good passes where they missed the shot too. No threes now, extend the D is what Coach Decker's asking here. Rosenthal oh, can't get his shot to go. Rebound attempt is no good by John Adams. I thought that baby was in. A lot of arch on that one. Ball goes on Voss. Two oh one remaining at sixty to thirty nine. Adams fouled on the rebound, so there will be no uh, free throws. Rosenthal. <laughs> Shot is wedged. Now that's a jump ball situation. The arrow points Christian's way, so they'll keep it. First time all year for that one, Chris. Yeah, I was going to say, you don't see that every day. Oh, an easy shot missed by Meyer. And then put up and in by Rosenthal. And a timeout by the Christian Eagles. It's uh, 60 to 41 with 151 remaining. And it's a full timeout, so uh, we can take a 30 second break, Scott. Bring us right back. Hi, I'm Bob McGrath. And I'm Big Bird. And we love to make music. Music can help kids learn. Did you know that making music, any music. Like Twinkle Twinkle? All uh, right, like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star can help your child with language, reading, and even math. And it's lots of fun, too. To find out how children learn and grow with music, visit www.amc-music.org. And you'll see. Music works wonders. Yeah, it sure does. We're back at Lutheran High School where the Crusaders have dominated throughout the basketball game. They lead it 60 to 41. And Christian coming in with a 11 and one record in conference will uh, slip to 11 and two and drop out of the lead. Uh, depending of course what Usberg does tonight, uh, the conference is playing. Pretty big upset, uh, the Flying Dutchman losing, losing at Cedar Grove earlier. Whoa, nice pass, but right to Adams. <laughs> <laughs> Adams was so shocked he almost lost the ball. I thought he was going to catch and score because he was in, you know. <laughs> right on the break. Right? Yeah. Moeller shot is no good. And a shot is blocked. Still Mokowitz now doing a smart thing, Chris, pulling it out. One fifteen remaining. And Dillman goes down hard. He's gonna get called for a... Oh, I take that back. Ball's gonna go on Kurt Feringa. Charging through the screen. Dillman has uh, seven points so far. Rint and Menzer come in for Lutheran. Dillman now with uh, eight points. He's two for two on the line for the game. Pardon me, two for four. Justin Moeller trying to get around Stelmachowicz. 
On a stole, steal by Adam Menzer, he lays it off the glass and in. 63 to 41, we're under a minute. Huge upset at Lutheran High School as the Crusaders are gonna defeat the first place Eagles. Well, Decker left his feet and gets called for the foul. Kurt Ferengel will go to the, no, no free throws on that. It's only team yep. foul number five. There you got a quick shot of Todd Decker. Adam Rush getting ready to check in. Ferenga backs, Decker back down and got the shot up and in and we get a quick timeout. Full timeout, we'll take a timeout. I love the challenge of computers. Not that I have much time with these little guys and my job, but when my wife went back to school, I thought, why can't I? Certain things in life demand my attention, but a new career in computer science deserves my attention. An evening class at Lakeland doesn't tie my life in knots, thanks to a flexible, easy to manage schedule that allows me to balance work, school, and the twins. Evening classes that meet once a week, that's the easy part. We're back at Lutheran High School, checking in for the Crusaders, number 44, Derek Berglund, and number 14, Adam Rush. Same players out on the court for Christian. Nick Rint has it. We're down to 20 seconds remaining in a ball game. And they're running clock. Down to 10 seconds, tipped away. Picked up by Rosenthal. Oh, he had Meyer open underneath the basket, but didn't locate him. There he goes. Meyer lays it up and in, and that's the buzzer. Ending tonight's ball game, Lutheran wins it by 18, 63 to 45. When we come back, Chris will have some uh, players, possibly coaches from the winning Lutheran squad. You know, we sing for millions of girls, but helping out in schools, that's the real deal, baby. I know our love can multiply. I'm the cute one, you know what I'm saying? Have you ever been backstage before? Cause you're the exit. I think you'll find that gravity is key in what I do. Once was one, but now we're two. I'm sitting at a <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't matter who you are, or what you drive, or where you live. You have the power to give someone the greatest gift in the world, life. Make the decision to be an organ donor. Make the decision to donate life. Good job. It's a giraffe! I don't see it. The less art kids get, the more it shows. Are yours getting enough? Art. Ask for more. Americansforthearts.org Take a deep breath. It's all going to be fine. Come on, take a deep breath. Keep on breathing. Certified Angus beef from Piggly Wiggly. Dad likes big juicy steaks. T-bone. Four and a half. The steak houses just take forever. So Dad cooks it up himself. Who needs reservation anyway? Restaurant quality certified Angus beef. 
Just one more reason to shop at Piggly Wiggly. Piggly Wiggly! Shop and pay! My compliments to the chef. We're back at Lutheran High School where the Crusaders have defeated Luth uh, defeated Christian High School and down on the floor is Chris Wright. All right, I'm back here with Casey and Coach Decker. Casey, big game night, senior. Stepped up last game against Christian. How's it feel? Feels great. Uh, Christian, yeah, they uh, got their hopes up for a winning conference and uh, I'm glad I was able to be here this time for my team and uh, help to, uh, for this win today. Yeah, you contributed in a lot of places. I think you had five rebounds, you had a bunch of assists. Uh, scoring, you've always been a pretty good scorer and things like that. Uh, that's what you wanted to do tonight? Well, basically, just wanted to get the win, uh, whether it was me or John or Nate uh, scoring or whatnot, but we just wanted the W tonight. Yeah, I definitely thought you weren't going to be tonight on the last uh, feeling. I know it's kind of emotional for you and things like that. I thought you really stepped up tonight, and uh, good luck on the rest of the year. Coach, win number 100 for your varsity. Back when you were the freshman coach at North, you get about 18 wins every year. You got to about 400 wins, I think, as a freshman coach. How's number 100 feel? Oh, it feels really good, and it's, it's the players. We've had a great uh, great bunch of guys throughout the years. We try to develop a program, and you know how hard that is as coaches, and got a good, uh, Tom Destel uh, taught me some things, but our players played hard tonight, and they wanted to get that number 100. And uh, we went after it, and we had some senior leadership. And when you have games like this, you have to have senior leadership. And you saw what Casey did, he kind of took over. But it feels good. Yeah, I thought tonight, too, I don't know if you knew this, you only, your uh, defense was outstanding. You had, uh, I think you allowed 16 for 62 shooting. Uh, I thought the kids had great live hands and things. Uh, what would you tell us about that zone a little bit? Well, we have Phil Voss. It's a lot of work for him. We put him, we call it pump. And Phil's at the top, and he just follows the ball, and he tries to front the box. Ball comes up, and he has to go. It's a, it's a big job for him, and he takes it. A lot of times, Phil gets overlooked because we got some scores, but it's stuff like that. You know, defense wins games, and we said, let's get after it. High hands, they hurt us at their place because you do have to do the little things, and that's what we strived and worked on all week, and we saw that. You get a hand in their face, it's difficult. Yeah, I thought your defense was outstanding, and, and, and Christian was bothered from the get-go. The, sh the shooting just never came around for them. Uh, you got contributions from Josh Lindsay and stuff and kids like that. He had a big game tonight. I thought you got a full team commitment tonight. Uh, Johnny with that big three, too. What a momentum uh, uh, swing there right at the quarter. I think that kind of got us going, and Johnny was in hit hitting them, and uh, they're real supportive of him being a freshman, and it's tough, and the guys have accepted him. That's, that's, that's our guys. They're, they're team players, and that did get us going. But, you know, Lindsey, he's been battling the flu, and he really went after it. Nate Dillman started off. He had another dunk. He's another neat one. He had one the other night that was awesome. It's cool to see. And, uh, you know, Ryan Rush coming off the bench. Uh, you need guys like that. Nick Rint, Adam Menzer, Josh Binster, JB coming up. That's that's difficult for those guys, but it's a good experience. That's what's great about basketball. Yeah, I, I did mention Ryan, too. He had a good contribution, too. Uh, you guys have been playing much better. Uh, tournament's coming up. Uh, can you guys make a run? Well, I think so. Uh, we wanted to prove something tonight because we wanted to be in that... We wanted to be in that echelon with Oosberg and Christian. We had a couple of upsets that we shouldn't have. We didn't take care of things. And we think we are those, that quality of team like we have. Uh, we, we're looking forward to the end of the year, but it was one game at a time, and then it's uh, conference time. You know, Maybe Christian was looking a little past us. Who knows? You know, as a coach, it's tough to get kids going. So we're just going to do one game at a time and see what happens, but it's a great victory. It's a Christian game. It's just like a north-south game. I love the experience. That's what Coach Flipsy was saying. It's really neat for the kids, and I really enjoy coaching against Coach Flipsy. He's a good guy. Well, I know you mentioned Coach Tessitel, but congratulations on win. I learned a lot from you, too. I still use a lot of the same phrases and things. And again, congratulations. Thanks, let's, let's send it back to Marty. Let's go through the scoring real quickly. Adam Menzer, this is for Lutheran High School. Adam Menzer had two. John Decker had 13 points. Casey Stelmachowicz led all scorers tonight with 23. Philip Voss had four. Nate Dillman had eight. And Josh Lindsay had 13. A number of those off of fine passes from uh, Casey Stelmachowicz. For Christian, Justin Moeller had five. Steve Meyer, two. Kurt Feringa, two. Andy Rosenthal, two. Dustin Vervelde, six. Steve Hunick, 12. He led uh, all scorers for the Eagles. Mike Oppenier, four. Jake DeMaster, eight. And David Sneller had four. Uh, the next game for Lutheran will be at Howard's Grove. And for Christian, they'll be playing Kohler at home. 
our next broadcast on TV8 will be uh, next Friday when Green Bay East visits Sheboygan South. That'll be a huge game. East is uh, one game back of the standings for second place. Uh, South, of course, all alone in second place. So that'll be a huge game. You want to stay tuned for that. For the crew, Brian Andrews on the floor camera, Tim McMunn on the up camera, Scott Miloff in the truck, and my partner, Chris Wright. I'm Mike Martin saying so long, everybody, and thanks for watching. We'll see you down the road.